it's Candice, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we're going to talk about gift certificates. How do you set them up, and what do you do with them? So the first step is going into your items list, because when you sell a gift certificate, it is not considered income to you until you provide the product or service that the gift certificate redeems, right? So the moment you sell the gift certificate, it's actually considered a liability to you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under list, items list, and you're gonna go to the bottom and you're gonna create a new item. And that item is going to be an other charge. You can choose a name or a number that you give all of your items. In this example, I just did gift certificate to keep it simple. I'm not gonna worry about a description. If you wanna put a description in there, you can, that will populate on the invoice. And then I'm gonna leave the amount as zero unless you always sell the gift certificate for a specific amount. The tax code, I'm gonna leave as non-taxable because when somebody buys from you, you don't know what they're gonna redeem it for. And when they redeem it, that's when it becomes a taxable item. So the account we are gonna use is actually going to be an other current liability, and we are gonna call it a gift certificate, gift cards, whatever you wanna title that. I'll show you what that looks like. You're gonna add a new account, and you're gonna call it an other current liability, and you could choose to call it gift cards, gift certificates, whatever you want to call it. But this is where it sits until you re they redeem it. it. sits as a liability, all right? So let's go in and what you want to do is you want to create, you can either, you're going to go in and you're going to create a sales receipt. Okay. So you choose who, how you want to track your customers, whether you track gift certificates is every customer who's purchased a gift certificate, all your gift certificate sales, or if you want to do it by the person's name who purchased the gift certificate, because often someone else redeems it, right? So that's your choice who you wanna call as the customer. You can, if you have classes, all that kind of stuff, you can choose what type of payment, the date that they did it on. I'm in a QuickBooks sample file, so it's a future date. Then your item that we just created, gift certificates, you wanna put in the gift certificate number, if your gift certificates are numbered. Any comments that you wanna save in here. And then the amount of money that your gift certificate that they purchased is for. And then you're gonna choose non-taxable because right now we're just holding that. So then we're gonna click save and close and I'm gonna show you what happened. So if now we went over to the balance sheet and we changed it to the 31st and we go down to the bottom under liabilities, we're gonna see gift certificate, $80. If we double click on it, we will see that gift certificate total. We can, um, because of the date that I picked, I had to change it. But so if you don't see it, you can always click all and it will sit there as a liability until you remove it. So what is the process of removing it? Let's go do that now. So we've sold the gift certificate and we've accounted for it. The income is sitting here ready to be recorded. Right here is our cash and our undeposited funds. You can choose that. You could put that in the bank just like you normally would. Okay, so that's been put in the bank. You create a sales receipt, you deposit it, everything's been recorded. The bank has been recorded and the liability has been recorded. Those are the two sides. Now you can go in and you can create an invoice or a sales receipt to record the actual sale. So let's just go into a sales receipt and we're gonna choose the person who's going to redeem it. If you want, you can just call it gift certificates or you can put it by the person's name. Carol gave Dave the gift, gift, David the gift certificate. And so we're going to go through and let's say he redeems the gift certificate on December 31st. You can add a payment type called gift certificate. You can choose to call it gift certificate. It's a gift card type and click okay. So it'll track that type of payment for you. And then you're gonna go in and you're going to choose the item. So the items you're gonna choose first are the things they're buying from you. What are they redeeming their gift certificate for? So we'll go in here and do 
tree removal. It's kind of a funny gift certificate thing. Um, but we'll say that it depends. Now, tree removal is more expensive than $80 gift certificate. But let's say it was $80. I'm going to give you two examples. Then what you can do is you can come down here and you could do your gift certificate. You put in your number again. I don't actually remember exactly what I typed in. But then you're going to do negative 80. So that way, this person's not actually paying for anything. Their gift certificate fully covers it. It puts it in as a sale towards your income account. And it takes it away from your liability. That's what would happen right here. Now, say that technically what they want to buy is $100. Then they would owe a difference of 20. And you could put through the payment difference. And you could choose... Um, check, cash, debit card, however they pay for it. That's another example. To keep it simple, we're just going to put $80. If they have multiple types of services, so let's say that the tree removal was actually 60. So I'm giving you a couple different examples. Because if I don't, you guys are going to be asking me questions in the comments below. And it's easier to do it in the video now. So let's just say they did tree remover for 80 or for 60 and they did a pest control for 20 just because we're working with small numbers what you would want to do then is you can technically subtotal this you could put a subtotal in and it would tell you how much money it is and then you could put your gift certificate in the gift certificate number you can obviously put the date of service and all that in there but they're still going to owe zero okay so i'm going to leave this example since this is the last one we've done and I'm gonna click save and close. And I wanna show you what's now happened. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna look at the profit and loss. So let's pick just December 31st to show what we did today, or in this example. You're gonna see $20 here and $60 down here. So their total income was 80, but it puts it wherever those items are set up inside your QuickBooks, right? Then what happens is if we go to the balance sheet and we pull it up through the 31st and we go down, you'll notice the gift certificates are zeroed out. See, they don't even show up right now. But what we can do is go under list chart of accounts, find our gift certificates. They're going to be down here under current liability. And you'll notice they say zero, but you could double click on them and you will see $80 was used, $80 was here, and the gift certificate I used, I slightly added an, a three where I didn't add a three before. But that's why you want to track your gift certificate number so you can see where it was redeemed at. Okay? As a recap, when you receive the gift certificate money, when they purchase a gift certificate, it goes to the liability. Then when they redeem the gift certificate, you put all the things they purchased as regular sales. Show that to you. And then the gift certificate goes in as a minus whatever the gift certificate dollar amount is. And if they still owe you, they owe you. And if they have a remaining credit, then you would just leave your gifts only the amount of the gift certificate they actually used. Have an amazing day. Hope you guys enjoy this tip. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to get these tips and tricks in your inbox, Feel free to go up to the I and put your name and email to get them. And if you need personalized help with QuickBooks, feel free to book a strategy session. And if you're wanting to learn how to use QuickBooks for your specific business, check out Confidence with QuickBooks. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon.